What's going on guys? Teron drives here with another quick video. This is a 2020 M4 F83. So this is a convertible M4 2020. So the 2020 model year is after they removed the carbon fiber draft shaft and replaced it with a auto particulate filter. Basically it doesn't sound as good as the 2018s or prior. But it's still an M4 producing 425 horsepower and roughly 408 pound-feet of torque. And the thing that's unique between that 425 horsepower is you get that 425 horsepower between 555 horse uh, RPMs to 7,600 RPMs. So that horsepower is available a lot more consistently compared to a lot of other models where you might get 425 hor um, horsepower at, let's say, 5,600 RPMs. This one, you deliver that 425 horsepower between 5,500 RPMs all the way through 7,600, which is redline. Now, this one is the last hardtop convertible BMW made. So after this generation, which again was the F83, which is the first generation of the M4, after this year, they went to the soft top convertible which does have a little bit of carbon fiber in it which helps reduce uh, road noise hopping into this m4 of course everything is pretty standard nice little piano black trim but also some carbon fiber trim in the middle as well harmon carton surround sound speakers of course you do have some nice paddle shifters this one is the dct and with the f83 it's roughly 3800 pounds compared to the standard coupe which is around 3600 pounds you can fit people in the back seat there is some space back there but of course it's more so preferred for a small child if so old school i drive system it is touchscreen apple carplay of course is connected or could be connected as of right now this model has 14,000 miles on it uh it has almost no gas the speedometer goes up to 200 miles per hour, but I believe you should be able to get this like, what, 180, probably. I would have to double check the top speed. But as it's warming up, the red line does move down. So of course, as the car gets a little bit more up to temperature, it'll go to the full red line, which should be around 7,600 RPMs. Of course, the car is still completely cold. You do have M1 and M2 configurable buttons, so of course that changes the characteristics of the car. M2 typically is your more sportier settings, and you can adjust these settings within this iDrive system. So M1 is typically going to be a little bit more relaxed. This person has it on sport, but you could make your M1 your efficient mode, more comfortable. And your steering, if you prefer that tight feeling, you would want to go with Sport or Sport Plus. A more relaxed feeling is, of course, going to be your comfort. Going over to M2. M2, a lot of people like to put this on more so your sportiest setting. MDM is going to allow for a little bit of wheel slip and the computer will save your ass just in case you mess up. DSC off, of course, is your full traction control on, which if you're in an F80, I would not recommend taking the traction completely on unless you know exactly 100% what you're doing because these cars have a lot of torque, a lot of power that's delivered right away. It is powered by two twin scroll turbos, so it is a twin turbo S55 motor, of course, and everything is in a sport settings. You have other controls here as well, so of course, this is for changing your steering wheel setting, your dampening settings. And of course, this is your sport setting as well. So you can quickly configure each option right from there. This car does not have the 360 cameras, but of course it does have a backup camera. And this is to change your shift speed. Right now the car is in park, which is in the middle. Shift over once, now you're in drive. Shift it back over, you're in neutral. Put it in the middle and hit the start stop. The car is in park. So I just started it up. That's just like your standard rev. Switch over to M2. Now you get a lot more loud. 
a lot more out of the exhaust. But I just wanted to do a quick little video on this M4. Let's actually put the top down. Holding down the button down, it retracts the top. So right now, the top is going down. It is pretty cold out here. And while we're here, right next to me, I noticed that there is a standard F32 um, or F, is it F80 still? I like to think that's still gonna be an F83. But there, right next to me is a standard four series compared to this M4, which this part car has around 50% of the parts shared compared to the standard versions. So as the top goes back up, I will, show you guys the standard four series okay tops all up let the car warm up flip the camera back around so right next to me you have a let's see this is a 2020 a 2018 430i convertible right next to the m4 of course, the front grille is going to be a little bit different. Headlights are going to be a little bit more modern in this M4. LEDs. Bigger wheels on the M4 compared to these standard 18-inch uh, wheels. We have 19s, if not 20s. What we got here? We have 18s. Wow. Okay. So, of course, no wing mirrors. Wing mirrors in the M cars. Wider front of flares in the back compared to the standard interior open nope. okay hopping around the back of course quad tips a wider fender flare in the front and in the back compared to the standard 430 all-wheel drive rear-wheel drive but again just wanted to do a quick video on this car Thank you. Subscribe for more. I hope you enjoyed watching. And subscribe for more. You also have neck warmers. That's what, one thing I wanted to show you as well. Heated seats, heated steering wheel, neck warmers. Do we actually have a heated steering wheel in there? I might be lying about the heated steering wheel. This does not have a heated steering wheel, folks. Okay. All right. Well, that's the M2020 M4. Got some quarters. Let's take that. Subscribe for more.